Today we're going to explore task and you will notice over here on the right that this little app icon is calendar, Google Calendar. This one is Google Keep and this one is Google Task. And so when I click on Google, Google Task, I can add a task. And so the task I need is I need to bring sheet music from home. Press enter and it's become a task. I can also go in and edit it and I can make sure that it's added to my task list. If I had a set another list here, I could switch between the names of my list. I can add a date to it and I want to bring it tomorrow. So it will say tomorrow. But if I um, want to change it to the next day, that would be fine too. And then all I have to do is close out my close my task. But when I go back into task, that's bring sheet music from home. But one of the nice things about Google Gmail is that you're allowed to take an email and add it to a task list. So, for example, this is create a boot camp agenda. So if I click on this in the box and click the three dots, I can add it to task. And it will automatically create create boot camp agenda and task list for PD January 22nd. And notice that it came from my email. Now if I click on the edit button, I can add a date to that. So I'm going to make it on the 18th. And that, look back. Now I still have my bring sheet music from home. And I still have my create boot camp agenda. Now this one is one that happened when I clicked add task. So if I want to get rid of this, all I have to do is click on and click at it. And I've still got my last two things right here. This, um, three dots right here um, allows you to sort by date or order it also names you to, it allows you to rename a list and if you will notice if I wanted to bring my sheet music from home I can just pick it up and drag and drop it and that is the way you create task in Gmail